Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I got Highland Park The Light. Part of a two bottle set. This one comes in at 17 years old, 52.9% ABV, and only uses refill X bourbon casks, which makes it pretty unique for Highland Park. I'll let you know what I think about that when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. They bottled 28,000 of these, so somewhat limited. Let's see how it is on the nose. So right away, really nice fruit notes. Pear, you get like a ripe pear, and like a cooked pear, I'd say. Uh, kiwi, really nice kiwi note. Maybe like a little bit of star fruit. Star fruit being almost like more kind of like subtle, um, very kind of faint nose to it. But you get a little bit of that in here. Uh, honey, really nice, rich honey note to this. Really, really good. Then I'd say like a little bit of like, almost like a, a baked good, but like a sweet kind of baked good. Almost maybe like a sugar cookie. Some maltiness in here. And then you get that, that typical Highland Park, heathered kind of peat note right on the back end. But that's really, really good. This is a really nice nose. Let's go palette. Really, really good. So you get all these super rich tropical fruits and then all this sweetness as well. You get... Uh, pineapple, mango, um, really nice sweet note. You get like almost kind of like, you know those uh, Easter jelly beans? They're kind of like really big, but they're really like a thick candy coating with like even like more sugar on the inside of it. I almost get pick up that to it. Um, really nice vanilla note to it. Um, maybe a little, a little bit of like barrel char on the end there as well. Finish, really nice, super long. You get the pineapple, the honey, um, that sweetness comes through, and the peat as well. Really, really good. This is such a nice, nice whiskey. Um, add a little bit of water to this earlier. It just kind of brings out a little more lemon, maybe a little more maltiness, but I kind of preferred it without the water. That's why I didn't add any this time around. Um, really nice ex-bourbon influence on this. I guess with like ex-bourbon and like refill ex-bourbon, refill casks, I guess they can kind of go both ways. Like a refill cask could be good in the respect that, you know, the master distiller knows what that cask can do. And they put that aside and kind of like, they know that like, okay, this is a well-performing cask and it will well work well in like a refill, second fill scenario. Whereas on the other end, you know, refill cask could mean, you know, less influence, less, um, you know, uh, vibrancy to the whiskey, whatever it may be you kind of get the good and the bad with refill casts in, in different situations. In this in situation, in my opinion, it works super, super well with it. Um, maybe also it lets a little bit of that Highland Park distillate kind of show through because maybe you're not getting as much influence. And with Highland Park, you, you're mostly used to getting some sherry influence as well, where the sherry influence might mask a little bit of that distillate. Here, it kind of shines through and I think it's great. I think this works super, super well. And they've done an awesome job of this. Um, my first time ever trying this, here it is. Oh, that's good. It's good, right? Tried it at Whiskey in the Sixes Place. Uh, really awesome. I was blown away the first time I tried it. So really, really good. Um, score wise for me, I'm gonna give this a big score. Uh, 91 out of 100, well deserving of the score. Really, really like this whiskey a lot. For value, uh, full disclosure, this bottle was given to me by the reps at Highland Park. I let you know exactly where I get my bottles every time, whether I purchase it myself, how much I paid for it, if it came from a friend, or if a viewer loaned it to the channel uh, to review. Uh, so full disclosure on this one, this was given to me, but my views are my own. Um, I have no problem scoring this one high mark like I did because I love this whiskey. It's super, super awesome. And thank you very much for giving this me this bottle. It's super, super generous um, to have this. So 91 out of 100, I don't add or subtract value when uh, I haven't purchased the bottle myself. So zero for value, or sorry, NA for value on this one, 91 out of 100. Um, let's just talk about the box for a second because I'm not usually big on boxes. I usually just recycle the cardboard or the tubes or whatever because they take too much room on my shelf. But for this one, this is a really cool box. I think it's probably the best designed, most elegant uh, engineered box that I've, that I've seen before. And you kind of pops open, it kind of goes through the side there, uh, really nice like foam insert to keep the bottle nice and snug. And you get this really cool kind of like 
inlay with the information about the bottle and distillery and it's mostly marketing but really kind of cool um, insert to this one as well that kind of fits right in there so it looks really good on your bar on your shelf um, definitely something that can kind of centerpiece your uh, your whiskey cabinet so i thought it was kind of cool um, definitely something to, to, uh, to keep around for sure um, one more thing um, i'm going to give away some of this whiskey like i said before this bottle was shared with me from a rep Whatever they share with me, I'm gonna share with you. So I'm gonna give away some samples right now. They're also nice enough to send over a couple Highland Park branded Glencairns. So I'm gonna give away one glass and one two ounce sample to two different people. All you need to do, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment down below, just let me know what your favorite Highland Park is. Is it something from the core range? Uh, maybe one of their special editions, even like an independent bottler. Let me know in the comments down below and I will pick two winners at random for that. Um, as always, really much appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe. Got some awesome stuff coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And as always, have a good one. Cheers.